Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the VMware Cloud Editions and how can they accelerate our multi-cloud journey. So before jumping into the VMware Cloud Edition, let's understand VMware Cloud updated naming. So Cloud Editions are renaming to VMware Cloud. As we are aware, previously we have a current naming is VMware Cloud Pack Compute with Advanced Automation and VMware Cloud Pack HCI, HCI with Advanced Automation, VCF Advanced, VCF Enterprise. VCF means VMware Cloud Foundation. So these all the names recently VMware, they come up with a new naming will be announced yet. VMware Explore 2023 in August 23. So it's, uh, sorry for the typo, it's already announced in August 2023 and changes to the SKUs are to occur in October 2023. So here SKU means stock keeping unit. So the what are the new namings sir? Previously we have a compute with advanced automation name. This VMware Cloud Pack name now changed as a VMware Cloud Essential. When they say essential means it comes with the compute and advanced automation features. And HCA hyperconverged infrastructure, this name is VMware Cloud Standard. And HCA with advanced automation, we call it as VMware Cloud Pro, that means professional, and VMware Cloud Advanced, VMware Cloud Enterprise. That means we have totally VMware Cloud editions are five editions. Okay, so let me elaborate the same point in the following slide. So what are the VMware Cloud Editions means? So based on the new naming convention, we can say VMware Cloud Editions are bundled of VMware's STDC portfolio of products. Here STDC means Software Defined Data Center. As we are aware, STDC means it includes vSphere, NSX, vSAN. These three are commonly included and additionally, it will also come up with a ADD, uh, ARIA suit. Okay. So these bundles, that means STDC and VMware Cloud Edition bundles are designed to simplify the product portfolio. Okay. And the VMware Cloud Editions are offered either connected or disconnected subscriptions. So here connected means it's like a cloud-based models and disconnected means it's like a air-gapped environment or any of the customer dock site environments. Okay. And the perpetual means it's a fixed licensing. There is no perpetual licensing at present. So the same point I highlighted here, perpetual licensing is not available for the cloud editions, okay? And as I mentioned, there are five different VMware cloud editions. So editions are essential, formally name is compute with automation and the standard formally HCI, Pro formerly HCL, HCI with advanced automation and VMware Cloud Advanced means it maps to the VCF advanced licensing and VC, VMware Cloud Edition Enterprise means it's formally mapped with the VCF Enterprise. Okay, so this is how VMware Cloud Editions are divided. Okay, and as I mentioned, there is offering as a two methods of subscription, connected and disconnected. Let me elaborate the connected and disconnected in the following slide. So here, VMware Cloud Edition, connected subscription. As I mentioned, connected means it's like a, it requires a cloud connection and integrated with VMware Cloud Console and no license keys are required within the connected subscription. But how it will use is, it uses keyless entitlements, but VMware recommend that when we are going for a VMware Cloud edition with the connected subscription, there is a minimum commitment period like one year, three year, and five years. Okay, so minimally customer has a connectivity commitment period for connect connected subscription that is one year. And editions common, essential, standard, pro, advanced, and enterprise. But within the essential, as we are aware, we require for a compute, we call it as, it's like a compute workload, modern workload platform. So that means it comes with a 
vSphere plus Aria Universal Suit Advanced. Whenever we have a plus, that means it's completely a SaaS based model, software as a service, it's not a perpetual, okay, subscription based cloud model only. And when it comes to the standard, it's like a vSphere plus Aria Suit standard because it's a standard license and vSAN virtual SAN also comes with a advanced license. And here it is like a integrate compute and storage, but this feature not available in the essential. When it comes to VMware Cloud Pro, only difference is ARIA Universal Suit is comes with advanced and remaining features same like standard. And when it comes to VMware Cloud Advance, it's almost equivalent to the, our VCF license, VCF Advanced license. VCF means our STDC manager, complete software stack, it will come. So STDC manager, vSphere, vSAN, NSX, ARIA suit. This all comes with the VCF. But the same name, they make it as a VMware Cloud Advance. And one additional component also it will include that is called HCX Enterprise. HCX means hyper-converged extension. It will helpful to migrate the workloads from on-premises to private cloud or on-premises to any of the other cloud. And even if you want to migrate your workloads from one location, one country to another country also using HCX, we can able to perform. Okay, and another feature is another licensing mechanism addition is VMware Cloud Enterprise. But within the enterprise, there will be a additional add-on services compared to VMware Cloud Advanced. Okay, so that is like enterprise plus license in NSX. And we also have ARIA operation network inside that is the additional add-on. And one key point here is wherever we mention vSphere plus in all the editions, vSphere Plus includes vCenter standard and TKG. TKG means Tanju Kubernetes Grid. That means our enterprise grade Kubernetes platform also available with all our VMware Cloud editions. Okay. Now let's understand the disconnected subscription now. So if you see the VMware Cloud Edition disconnected subscription model, disconnected means it provides a flexibility for customers that require air gap environment. That means disconnected or in other words, we call it as a dark site. But here in the disconnected subscription model, we need a license keys, okay? But if you notice that all the product includes, there is no plus icon. If you have vSphere plus, that means blindly remember that plus means it's like a cloud connection models, okay? Or we call it as subscription models, connected subscription models but disconnected means there will be no plus in the product names okay and essential comes with vSphere enterprise plus vCenter standard this is all cover our virtual machine platform and additionally we have a aria suit term advanced and also we have tkg tanju kubernetes grid tanju kubernetes grid is one of the workload management feature available in vCenter server standard itself Okay, and when come to VMware Cloud Standard, the additional license which is added is vSAN, okay, apart from these features. And when comes to VMware Cloud Pro, we have a vSAN Advanced and ARIA suit also, instead of standard, it's become as a advanced licenses, okay. When comes to VMware Cloud Advanced, it's include all these, but only additional features are complete our VCF licensing. That means our software defined data center. So our software data center, it will complete only when we add a network virtualization as well. That means NSX advanced licenses, HCX enterprise, STDC manager. These three are the additional components when it comes to VMware Cloud advanced disconnected subscription. Okay. And additional points are VMware Cloud enterprise, Within the enterprise, the only thing is whatever the NSX and all we discussed, these all become as a enterprise products. NSX Enterprise Plus, RE operation for network enterprise is the additional add-on so that our customers can also have a integration facility to the, our external public clouds as well. Okay, so this is how VMware Cloud Editions are divided in five types, Essential, Standard, Pro, Advanced, and Enterprise. And what are all the products included, I just highlighted here. Okay, now let's map to our key concept is 
what are the vmware cloud edition and how can they accelerate that means speed up our multi cloud journey so this edi five editions we have are essential standard pro advanced enterprise with this cloud editions how it will accelerate is it is mapped with a second by default modern workload platform and it will when comes to vmware cloud standard it become as a modern standard and when comes to pro it we are able to facilitate use the workload management and also aria automation features are usable and when comes to vmware cloud advance our complete environment become as a full stack virtualization that means stdc stack software defined data center stack that means our customer environment become as a private cloud and if we need a additional add on services we have to upgrade it to our license to vmware cloud enterprise so that full stack across clouds across clouds means not only limited to private cloud the customer can also integrated with public cloud aws azure google and so on when they started integrating across the cloud means we are already reaching the multi cloud journey okay so this is how the customers uh, vmware cloud editions mapped with till until the multi cloud journey but the some customers they already using multi cloud but some customer they are still on the way to the multi cloud process okay so when we are attending for any customer conversations if the customers are at the vmware cloud standard level we would recommend to upgrade to the level up to the next stage or some scenarios we can recommend for you at least for your full stack virtualization and followed by full stack across clouds because this is the usual process for nowadays in order to provide a modern modernization data center and integrated clouds this is the commonly customer conversations i repeat so recently most of the customer conversations are mainly focused on this environments like uh, they are all asking for a modernization data center and modern application applications modern applications is nothing but a enterprise grade kubernetes platforms and it will also ask for the customers also ask for a integrated with public cloud because modern applications can be run it on on premises or any of the cloud anywhere that flexibility we can provide using vmware cloud enterprise edition okay so hope you understand but whatever the licensing i mentioned vsphere vcenter nsx these all features previous sessions i already highlighted in our channel if you are not uh, not able to review just kindly go through our channel and review i will show you in the following slide so the here is the conclusion point vmware cloud editions map to customers modernization journey okay so if you are interested to learn the concepts like vsphere esxi vcenter tanju kubernetes grid aria aria suit like aria automation aria operation vcf vmware cloud foundation this concepts i covered within our channel so we have 20 plus playlist like vsphere we have aria automation we have some interview preparation and tanju i did and also i, I prepared some videos for modern data protection and also vcf videos vsan and nsx aria operation and in addition i also covered the some of the enterprise grade kubernetes platform either i covered for your tanju as well as on additional enterprise grade kubernetes platform open shift okay so if you are interested you can just go through the playlist for the more technical concepts and labs okay and here is the key takeaway for this session today's session so vmware cloud edition five five models essential standard pro advanced and enterprise but the key thing is when we started using vmware cloud edition enterprise there may be a additional add on cloud services for modern apps advanced networking security and hybrid workspaces so that the benefit of vmware cloud editions are ease of use and a consistent experience and finally flexibility and choice so customers can choose any one based on the their business requirements okay so that's it and last point standardized and prospective of offerings to modernize our customers multi cloud journey okay so hope you understand the key point how the customers accelerate 
multi cloud journey okay so thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to gnan cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now